How you doing? Uh, this is a tutorial on how to place offers for my partner. Everything's pretty much the same. Um, you would just have to, <clears throat> pardon me, you would just have to do a few things different and create your own document form. So I'm going to go through the process. Um, he actually gave me his login in, uh, login for Gmail. So I'm logged into his Gmail. Now what you want to do is exactly what you've done for me. Um, he has sent me what needs to be submitted. His emails will come up as offers for submission. His name is Jason Arnold. All you have to do is basically do what you told me. If it says 35k, do not put 35k. 35 added 3500. So we're going to look up 19 Dressing Avenue. First off, the document is different. One second. Same document, but it has inf his information in there. So you're going to basically do the same exact thing. Okay. So 19 Dressing Ave. I'm going to go to the MLS. You already have my password, so you can use that. To the MLS. Active and pending only. As a matter of fact, this is the wrong one. You want to go to address. Put in the street number, which is 19. Street and the city it will be Trenton City. Make sure only active is and pending is click nothing else. Something came up. Yeah, right. it's listed for ninety two thousand. Agent is Aaron Siegel. So I'm gonna get his information. And I'm going to start inputting that into the, the document. Delete what's here. First off, put today's date. Use with Keypoint Realty LLC. See if that came back. So it's on Key Point Realty LLC. His name is Aaron Siegel. Let me just make sure his name is spelled right. Aaron has two A's. What I do is click normal just to take a look. Alright, All right, then I'm going to get his email. Click on his email. And so on and so forth. You get the drift. Let me just put some of this info in there. Put some facts. And you want to get everything first. You want to look for a cell number, but we'll go, go for a preferred phone number. Phone. Okay. Just want to think everything to look uniform and good. Okay. We are a local investment company in the sale of. Now you want to go to the actual property address. 19 dressing. It's kind of a trick I use to eliminate all of the special effects. All right. Now he said in his email, offer 19 just now, 
35k k just means anytime there's a k just add three zeros after it you know i'll show you what i mean 35k means 35,000 okay so move this 35,000 that's 35k that's just a shorter version saying 35,000 all right all his information is here okay so what I'm gonna do is um, create a new folder and what I did was separate it between my my offer documents and his so you can go to mine but these are his so what I'm gonna do is just change this document fit the current address now I can throw this out because I don't need to place any new offers alright I could throw this out but normally what you can do is just open it up and then make the changes but I'm just this is the first time so I'm going to save it back into that folder. Just be patient. Computer's running a little slow. Okay, so. Okay, so I'm saving it back in the offer documents, um, which is here. Today's date, the 17th. There's nothing there, so what I'm doing is um, I'm going to put in the address and say just offer letter. All right. Okay, and now you send it in his Gmail. One second, compose. All right. So you send it to the appropriate person in his. Gmail. Oh my gosh. You want to CC him, and his email is J. It should pop up right there. And you also want to CC me. E. LaFrance at HMP. S dot net. Okay, just to make sure you know you got it. And you want to start it the same way. Offer four quotation marks for this. Boom. And then you say and then you'll paste you'll paste the uh the message that I gave you and then you'll attach it everything and send it as simple as that and when you're done that what you need to do is update the offer tracker now see the offer tracker is in his name you have to do this every day after you're done placing the offers every day you need to update the offer tracker alright so let me update for that right now today is one seventeen fifteen. The address of the property is Sanav neighborhood. Now, neighborhood, I've noticed you've been putting the street name. That's wrong. What you need to do is to go to the uh, information and you'll see where it says subdivision or neighborhood. That's That's what you're looking for. If it says none available, 
Just put that. None available. How many beds and baths? Three is the bed. The first number is the number of the full baths. And then the second after the slash is, is um, half baths. So one way you could say is, so this is a three and one. Just like how you have up there, beds, three beds, one bath. The list price is 92000 Your offer was 35000 One second. Your offer was thirty-five thousand. Deposits always five hundred. And where it says assessment, this is where you go back to the property address. Assessment should say fifty. This is the assessment fifty-five two hundred. Okay. Make sure you always put a comma and dollar sign. Make it look good. Um, in taxes slash year, you want to put in the number, first number, right there. Style. Let me see. It, it will tell you design or style right here. Colonial. Okay. Colonial. An agent, again. You want to find an agent since you have everything already written here. Aaron Siegel. And notes, you don't got to worry about that. And offer sent, yes. And follow up, you don't have to worry about that. That would be, that would be uh, me. So, yeah, don't worry about that. But that's pretty much how you complete it. And when this is done, you would save. And you send email. Send email. Just saying, offer tracker. Attach the offer tracker. And that's it. That's the whole new task. It's exactly what you've done for me before another person. I'm going to send over the... Um, all the login information so you can get started that you need to send for him. That's it.